Machine learning is revolutionizing the world as we know it. Now, there was a time when this domain had very, very niche use cases and of course, only research based applications. But today it is almost used everywhere. The popularity of usage, uh, you know, comes from the ability of the domain itself where it can provide powerful solutions that can effectively solve problems around us. Now, keeping all of this in mind, we here at Great Learning have come up with this top 10 applications of machine learning video aiming to tell you about the applications of this fascinating domain. Now, use this as a guide to understand the vastness and of course, potential of machine learning as a whole. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains, absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. Now coming to the 10th important application of uh, machine learning, we have recommendation systems. Now recommendation systems are used everywhere in today's world, but here are some of the four important points. If you have ever watched a TV show on Netflix or watched a movie on Netflix, it uses a very, very complex artificial intelligence and of course machine learning based solution where it has the capability to even change the thumbnails of all the movies based on your favorite actors and all of that. Next, Amazon. Whenever you've uh, been on Amazon or any other e-commerce site where you're trying to purchase a product, right? Uh, let's consider that you're, uh, you're trying to purchase a pen and a paper. Now, as soon as you add a pen and a paper to your cart, it will start suggesting, uh, you know, erasers to you, stationary items, other things, a desk and all of that. So in that particular case, product recommendations are very important here. Uh, did you know that Amazon itself gets somewhere around 40% of its sales from recommendation systems? How powerful is that, right? Next up, of course, you have Spotify and other music streaming services where it creates a playlist based on the songs that you like, the genre that you like, and of course, a lot more complex factors and then when you're thinking about Facebook all the content that you see on your uh, feed on Facebook right all of it is very highly customized just for you and there are algorithms running in the back end to see what you like and then cater to that particular aspect of things right at number nine on this top 10 uh, applications of machine learning video, we have self-driving cars. Now, self-driving cars were thought to be a thing of the future, but guess what? The future is now. Uh, companies such as Tesla, uh, you know, Google, and of course, even uh, other companies DJs are trying to pitch in to provide and put commercial applications where, you know, at the, at the end of it, uh, users can have access to self-driving cars. The only thing that's stopping us right now from having complete self-driven cars is the law that says, uh, you know, uh, there is a driver who is compulsorily required. Apart from that, uh, you know, Tesla's cars uh, already have the feature called as autopilot, which eventually have the capability to drive, uh, you know, uh, people from one place to another. Other companies such as BMW, Mercedes Benz and all these companies have the auto parking feature, the parallel parking, uh, you know, a lot of these important features as well. So here at the end of the day, it's machine learning and it's the concept of Internet of Things or IOT as we call it, right? So there is a club of sensors as a bunch of sensors and using all the data from all these sensors there are very highly tuned uh, you know algorithms which are uh, put into place to make sure that self-driving cars are a possible thing of course whenever you're taking a look at the concept of self-driving cars 
assessing the reaction uh, of the algorithm is very important here because uh, if the sensor detects an accident or a collision happening it should rapidly enable uh, safety systems it should rapidly enable uh, redundancy systems to make sure that there is not a crash there is not an accident and all of that right so the reaction time from the algorithm itself should be very very uh, uh, you know very fast very critical there shouldn't be uh, any sort of lags here as there isn't now coming to number eight at number eight we have wildlife conservation right see wildlife conservation in my opinion is a very very important requirement in today's world but guess what machine learning is doing a lot in this particular domain if you didn't know uh, everything right from animal behavior approach to see how the animals behave through uh, various seasons various continents uh, you know in different climatic conditions all of that right from there till everything uh, you know to make sure that there are methodologies put into place to prevent poaching uh, you know on uh, all levels of course in the uh, rainforest across the world to make sure that you know there are certain reserved species endangered species that are always kept in check they're tracked uh, in their behavior is understood and to make sure that uh, uh, you know poaching is uh, you know not the problem anymore of course uh, you know doing this on a large scale will make sure that there is a very good understanding of what climate change is doing uh, you know to the wildlife population and how machine learning can fit in there to make sure uh, you know the wildlife uh, entities and beings are catered better by using highly sophisticated machine learning algorithms right coming to number seven number seven we're talking about social media because majority of today's uh, you know population in the world are using social media in one way or another right so it becomes very effective or very important for these uh, companies who are providing these platforms that uh, you know they give you a user experience which would make you want to stick to their particular uh, you know their application their domain or whatever it is right so every time you open up Facebook Instagram Snapchat or whatever it is based on what you've previously searched even on other websites your feed uh, your detail uh, is completely customized based on what you like to see what you have seen in the past and uh, you know it's this algorithm playing a guessing game saying hey will this person like this or not so there's a lot of different things which goes on in the background it's a very very complicated system but it has beautiful applications when you think about driving a customized user experience that itself is beautiful in its entirety then your face recognition customized advertisement so you click on the advertisement buy the product that you have been meaning to buy for a while uh, feed enhancements as I just mentioned right of course there are many many different things and uh, one very important thing you have to note here is that machine learning is having a huge impact on social media even though on the forefront while you are using the app you might not uh, feel it totally but in the back end there are highly highly powerful and sophisticated algorithms working their magic right coming to number six number six we have sentiment analysis now sentiment analysis is extremely important if you're a person or a business who are selling products or services now when you put a product out into the world, it is vital that you get reviews from all the people who are using your product, right? People usually go on to social media to, uh, you know, explain their happiness or, uh, you know, their sad experiences with using a product or using a service and all of that to get this opinion from the users to analyze what the common sentiment is, right? Now, let's say you sold a product to uh, half a million people or 10 million people. You cannot read through each single comment. You cannot read through 10 uh, million comments meant to manually understand what the people are saying about your product right that is where machine learning algorithm sits it, it understands the tone of the message it understands the emotion that is uh, you know portrayed through the message so that way you will have an understanding if uh, people are happy with your product if it's a satisfactory product or if they're overwhelmingly sad unhappy angry uh, whatever all of those is right so this at the end of the day will make sure that you can use uh, the feedback to develop a better product or provide a better service too so machine learning in sentiment analysis is a really really big thing now more than ever and then coming on to number five number five will be discussing healthcare right uh, did you know that machine learning in today's world is revolutionizing how we in fact see the world of healthcare as well because at the end of the day uh, when it comes to using computers to better uh, you know the uh, human life well there is nothing that can uh, bridge that gap right so people thought that computers couldn't be used effectively but now right from identifying diseases right from diagnosing even the most common 
complex uh, diseases which should take a lot of time if done manually, machine learning is helping that effectively. And then whenever you're manufacturing a drug or even a vaccine, right, I'm going to come to that, uh, you know, machine learning has a very, very important role to play in analyzing, uh, you know, all of the things that's required in this particular field. And whenever you're thinking about very complex, uh, you know, the concepts of uh, uh, medicine, which involves radiology or medical imaging, such as MRI and all of these things to analyze, uh, uh, you know, that uh, in the aspects of neurology, I've heard it's very, very difficult from all my friends at medicine. So machine learning is actually, uh, uh, you know, fitting a role in there to make sure that it can analyze a lot of different things and give a, a custom result based on that particular reading right now that is a very complex thing but for a machine learning algorithm if it's trained fine it can be simplified enough for practical usage every day and of course i'm not sure if you guys know this or not uh, the in, in the entire world there was a particular company uh, you know which used the machine learning algorithm to detect uh, the rise in the number of pneumonia cases in wuhan china which eventually uh, led to the pandemic we are living through right now the COVID-19 pandemic right so they put out uh, they figured it out uh, you know machine learning algorithm to be precise figured out uh, you know the exponential rise in the cases of pneumonia and later it was World Health Organization who said hey there might be a pandemic at hand so even before uh, you know full respect to medical professionals but uh, you know there was a good chance that the machine learning algorithm uh, caught it first but even though it didn't come to limelight but it is a vital thing that you have to know that that it was machine learning which detected the COVID-19 pandemic uh, firsthand. Right, so that is one important uh, application which I thought was amazing that the world of computing is coming together with the world of healthcare. Right. Next, talking about the banking sector. Now, banking is one of these things which is very, very prone to fraud and all of these other uh, miscreant things. Right. So in this particular case, if you're using machine learning, uh, fraud detection and prevention should be the number one thing where machine learning should have most impact and it rightly is uh, doing so. So, uh, you know, there is an exponential reduction in fraud and, uh, uh, you know, misusage of information and assets just because machine learning algorithms are sitting as a a firewall in between you and a scammer or a fraudster right next up whenever uh, you know we're thinking about banking investing into stocks and shares or investing into uh, you know just managing your portfolio comes into the picture there again machine learning has the capability to predict the price of a stock or a share in the near future based on its past performances that is a very important thing and then again when we're talking about banking security and uh, you know uh, managing your assets is a very important thing there as well machine learning is playing a vital role and then when you're talking about personalized assistance right again with any sort of these uh, banking sector operations that you have to perform withdrawing money depositing money transferring transactions all of these nowadays you have access to personalized assistants who can simplify a lot of your own tasks to make sure at the end of the day uh, you know you get to your goal but you will be having the complete assistance of a bot sitting on the other uh, side of the world if possible to make sure your task is simplified that is machine learning for the banking sector Next, we're talking about traffic prediction, right? No matter where you go in, in today's world, there's a good chance that you'll be annoyed by the amount of traffic, the pollution, uh, uh, you know, which is again, a very important factor for all of us as well. So machine learning here again is immensely helping us to reduce pollution, to reduce the costs which are involved in getting people from point A to point B. Now, how is this done? Think about real time traffic assessment. Think about uh, looking at your mobile, looking at Google Maps, knowing that which route has a lot of traffic uh, which route is okay which will which route uh, should you take to get yourself quickest from point a to point b and all of this right again here machine learning is in play data is collected from various users who are stuck in that traffic loophole or whatever it is to make sure you have that data before you eventually get there and get stuck yourself right so that's a very important thing in terms of automated traffic routing and real-time traffic assessment as well uh, so this particular case even now there are uh, developments in progress which will even predict traffic uh tomorrow at that particular time how cool is that right and uh the other important application here you have to really know is that uh sometimes whenever people are driving you tend to look at all the signboards but if you're driving fast you might miss a signboard or two with the power of machine learning and the gps if you've crossed uh the point uh where you might have missed a, a signboard the signboard can actually be flashed onto your uh, dashboard to say that hey you might have missed this here's a signboard that's a very very important thing uh 
which helps a lot, right? And the fourth important uh, application, in my opinion, is whenever you take a look at the airline industry, because again, having automated uh, flight route planning and of course, uh, cutting the cost on the usage of fuel is going to save a lot, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, pollution, of course, and of course, costs to the airline industry itself. So this is traffic prediction and machine learning. On the number two spot on this top 10 applications of, of machine learning, we have virtual assistants. Now we all use virtual assistants. It adds so much convenience to all of our life, right? Because at least 10 times a day, I personally make sure uh, that I use uh, the convenience of this. Uh, you know, there are so many top virtual assistants out there from Apple, you have Siri, from Amazon, uh, you have Alexa, from Google, you have the Google Assistant. And of course, from the people at Microsoft, you have Microsoft Cortana. So uh, I'm sure that if you're watching this video, you might might have used either one of these but guess what the capability of uh, these virtual assistants are going up and up nowadays uh, you know these assistants have the complete capability to call on your behalf order a pizza and make sure that the pizza gets delivered to your place as well how cool is that and the other person on the line will have uh, you know there's a good chance that the person even will not know that they're talking to a machine learning algorithm or to a bot right uh, you know this is again a demo given by the people at google which i absolutely was stunned looking at and I find this application of machine learning very, very, very helpful, uh, you know, in our daily lives. And of course, coming to the number one spot on this top 10 applications in machine learning, we have language translation. Now, uh, there can be a situation where you go to go on a vacation to a country where, uh, you know, you do not know how to speak a language, or of course, you might not know how to read all the boards and the science as well. In that particular case, uh, this tool, Google Translate, will help you immensely. Uh, uh, you know, you can record someone talking uh, in another language, for example, J Japanese, right? Uh, if you do not know how to speak Japanese, you just record the person talking it and your, uh, you know, your phone, your machine learning algorithm, which is in Google Translate will give you an output in English based on whatever that person said. And if you have sign boards, all you have to do is click a picture of it and send it to uh, Google Translate or even Google Translate comes with a, a camera option as well. There you just uh, show the sign board, uh, you know, which is in a different language and there itself, the signs get changed into English while you're just looking at it in your phone. How cool is that? So real time changes again takes place here and it's, it's an amazing thing. I have personally used it when I was, uh, you know, stuck elsewhere where I couldn't understand the language and it's a really, really beautiful application, which is again gaining a lot of popularity today. There's millions and millions of people who travel around, uh, you know, the world uh, every single year. So it is vital that this feature uh, is being used everywhere. And of course, uh, it is. So here again, the concepts of natural language processing or NLP, as it's called, is very popular uh, with the camera option that I just mentioned, that is augmented reality in place. So augmented reality is a concept of its own. Machine learning is a concept of its own, right? So as soon as those two are brought together, the product is something which is amazing and beautiful, right? Now more than ever, speech recognition, language translation, all of these are really, really accurate. There's an average accuracy of somewhere around 98%, which is is mind uh, blowing in the case of using machine learning for the usage of language translation. So I find it personally adding a lot of value to millions of people's of lives uh, every single day whenever they choose to fly or whenever uh, they have to make use of the concept of speech recognition or language translation as well. Right, guys. So these were the top 10 applications of machine learning. These are some of the most important applications, the trending ones, and of course, the ones which add a lot of value to our life as well. So what do you think about this top 10 machine learning applications video? Make sure you head to the comment sections and uh, do let us know about it. And also, guys, make sure you're checking out Great Learning Academy because there you have access to 200 plus courses in multiple different languages languages thought by subject matter experts where you can, uh, you know, opt in for courses for free, learn for free uh, and get a certificate of completion absolutely free of cost as well. So make sure you're checking out Great Learning Academy. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the Great Learning YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon because whenever you hit the bell icon, you will get a notification as soon as we put out a video. Right, guys, on that note, you have reached the end of the session. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.
I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments.